guys, so as you already know, this video is going to be a getting ready with me video of the makeup that I did for the Katy Perry concert because I went and it was fabulous and I really wanted to do something like really glittery and fun for the concert because that's basically the only time that I get to experiment with makeup usually, so that's what I'm doing. So recap of what just happened, I basically used chapstick, primer, and I'm moving into eyeshadow. I'm basically just using a dark taupe brown color to blend into my crease starting off. And I'm starting with my crease because like later in the tutorial you guys will see that I'm using glitter on my eyes and I just wanted it on my lid only. I don't want it blended into my crease so that's why I start with my crease and then kind of work my way up in layering. I find that works the easiest when you want a solid color on your lid, if that makes sense. So here I'm just highlighting and I'm using my Naked Basics 2 palette and I did a video last week with this palette so you guys can go check that out if you want. And I'm keeping it really basic with like my crease shadows and basically just darkening it, adding black and blending. There was a lot of blending that I took out so if you're going to be doing this look I highly suggest leaving quite a bit of time because blending is going to take up most of your time if you want it to look decent. <laughs> Moving into the next step I'm using a NYX jumbo pencil and this is the white one I think it's called milk and it's a really great base for any solid color or if you want anything to pop really and it's a very like I don't want to say sticky but it's a very good base for having things to stick to it so I'm just applying that over my lid so you guys can see where I'm going to be putting the glitter and then now I'm putting a glitter glue basically if that makes sense and this stuff is a really great and then here comes the fun part I'm using a makeup forever glitter I'll have the number of it in the down bar because I can't really remember off the top of my head but I'm just using this holographic glitter it is so gorgeous you can tell in the packaging that it has like rainbow colors and different lights and I just think it's so great and so versatile you can use it for like any look because it'll match anything so I basically just pat on the glitter after that make sure you take a lot of time to do that because it's gonna look a lot nicer if you take your time and you don't get it all over your face and then I just put on some very big lashes glued them on with black eyeshadow or sorry black eyeshadow eyeshadow black eyeliner glue black eye you get what I'm saying and then I added eyeliner curled my lashes added mascara to blend them applied um, eyeliner on my lower lash line to make my eyes really really pop and now I'm doing foundation and at the time I realized that this is way too light for me because I did self tan and I kind of forgot so I'm gonna darken that up but right now I'm concealing my under eyes because my skin has been really good so that's basically all I needed to do and now I'm just setting that with my translucent powder and as you guys can tell my face is like really ghostly right now so I'm taking a bronzer and I'm just kind of sweeping that all over my face to warm up my face a little because I've used the wrong foundation shade that's okay, it happens to the best of us. And now I'm just contouring with a different bronzer to, you know, make my face look a little more sculpted and cute. So, yeah. After that, I'm moving into my eyebrows, kind of just combing them out, filling them in. I find that it really completed the look, and I'm not necessarily a fan of dark eyebrows, but when you have such a dramatic makeup look, I highly suggest darkening your brows or, like, just making them more full because it looks a lot better. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just setting that with my gimme brow to make sure they stay in place all night. Even though I don't know where they would go. You know, maybe they want a party too. And now I'm just sweeping on a really light colored pink blush really, really lightly to the apples of my cheek. And I really like how this looked on my skin. I don't know. I really like that blush. And then I'm just using a different NYX double eye pencil. This is a silver one to highlight the inner corner because it looks good. I don't know. And then I had these Galaxy Press-On Nails. I'll have the website linked down below. They are so awesome and they were triangles so perfect for the prismatic tour. I'm just applying a hot pink bubblegum lipstick to finish off. And that is the completed Katy Perry concert makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.